Check out ChannelFireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support this channel. Hello everybody on YouTube and welcome. My name is Gabby, you've never been here before. We are drafting M21 and thank you again to Channel Fireball for sponsoring today's video. You can use the code Gabby at checkout if you want to support the stream. Okay, let's do this. Um, We could take carry and grub. Do a little black action. It wanted to tie me out, Goobs. Oh no, Pap, don't worry. Not not under my watch. I beat yourself. Hi, Teddy. Uh, nah, I only have Louise for unmodding. What do y'all think of uh, Carrie and Grubberino? Ha <laughs> ha, Reach. That's funny. There were a lot of good timeouts. I enjoyed that too. Yeah, let's take... Um... Ooh, Fader. That, this is accurate. We could take the Gaggle Master. Oh, actually, we should just take Grasp of Darkness. Oh my god, Narbly made a... <laughs> made a bopper's emote that is the normal bopper's emote except it's got like the little like flexing arm and i want to add that i want to add that as an emote <laughs> it's really funny looking i don't i don't have it as like a better ttv emote on here it's really really good shrines it should if it's not called flexors it should be definitely called flexors <laughs> it's just it's got like a big like muscle like this self mercies with Teferi, yeah. I It will be sad if drafting self-mill is not vi viable in this format because Teferi's tutelage is too popular, but we just gotta hope that it's not actually gonna be that way. We gotta hope it's gonna be a different way. I mean, if we wanted to try to be kind of reanimator-ish, we could take Spine Megalodon. If we want to be like Orzhov stuff, Gel Super is pretty good. I don't know about taking like Battle Rattle right now. If we want to take a really mediocre pick, we could just take Mask Blackguard, which is not not exciting. Should do a three mil, five mil channel points and model mods. Oh my god, nobody could get to it though. That, that's why I put the corn dogs there. It's true, Ark. At some point, you just get like grandfathered into it. You don't know what Battle Rattle does? It gives another creature plus two plus oh at the beginning of your combat. I think I'm just going to take Mask Blackguard for lack of anything else. Because I'm not really interested in going to a different color for any of the cards I saw. And uh, we will probably play the Blackguard. It's fine. Grub is decent reanimator. Agreed. What does Idol of Endurance do? The Idol of Endurance enters the battlefield. Exile all cards with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard until it leaves. Until the turn you may cast a creature spell from among the cards exiled with Idol of Endurance without paying its mana cost. That seems like not, not my jam. Um, we could take uh, Malefic Scythe or could also take Shock. Shock's a good card. Though I'm not, I haven't really loved Black Red too much. Yeah, let's just take Scythe. I haven't gotten a chance to play with this card anyways. Hey, Mickey or Mikey. 2002, welcome on in. How goes it? Yeah, side seems good. It just it keeps the counters from dead cards, right? Whenever equipped creature dies, put a soul counter on it. And I guess plus one plus one for each soul counter on it. I mean, that is pretty good if you like have the red black sack deck. You could really enable that. I've never ended up in green white DMC. How, how do you like it? Really haven't ended up there once. All these are pretty bad. I think we can just take shock now. Now I think we're gonna try to be like black red. Yeah, I think now we have to shock, like, for sure. We have... Grub doesn't sack, but this card really cares about that. Yeah, I believe so. My guess arc is that this card is good enough that you can probably play it in almost any archetype, but it's probably, like, busted in, in red-black. How did the last deck do? BK, we we had one of the most like unlucky runs in the world. It was really, really bad. Oh, uh, maybe now we just take that roaming ghost light. Like, nothing else here is amazing. Crypt Lurker seems okay. So we started out 0-2 BK. We had a game where we saw one island in the top, like 25 of our deck or something. It was outrageous. We ended up 4-3, I think. I think that deck was good enough to get at least six wins, but it was not meant to be. Wait, Crit Judge, what happened? You hit top 500 in Mythic for the first time. I'm crying. I'm so happy for the Mythic Qualifier. Kurtash, I'm so happy for you. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, hold on. Just pretend that's not a happy birthday 
thing and pretend that's me saying that I'm very proud of you for making top 500. I'm gonna take that roaming ghost light. I forgot that I changed it so one of them was happy birthday. And uh, yeah, it wor doesn't really work great. So we have a couple of options here. We could take... Fungal Rebirth, which I think is going to be sweet if we end up being black-green. But it doesn't look like green super open. We could also take, like, Opt or Read the Tides. And then we can try to be Reanimator-ish. And then we ditch the Shock. So cool, Kurtash. I'm super happy for you. When is the qualifier? Seems like an Opt to you. It's probably an Opt. Roaming Ghost Side is very good. Probably move this Shock now. Deathbone Thalad looks not bad. Yeah, let's take that. Yeah, maybe I could see maybe Splashing Rebirth. I, I don't think I'm super. The card is good, but how have you liked Golgari, chat? It doesn't... I haven't seen it be good. You effing hate Golgari? So is it Golgarbo? <laughs> That's kind of a bummer. Oh no, it is Golgarbo. Yeah, I thought Molly loves, like, the blue-red spells deck. Thought that's what Molly was into. Um, rewind is interesting. Do we have... We can rewind into, like, Grasp of Darkness or something. I don't think we want Wisconsin Crab anyway. Twin Blades makes Golgari totally worth uh, what does Twin Blades do again? Feeding past Baneslayer Angel is my highlight of the format already simply because it was so dead. <laughs> yeah, Feed of Resistance is really good. That card is, is actual busted. I don't think you want any of these cards. The best card here is honestly Colossal Dreadmaw. Twin Blades is the uncommon that draws when the thing dies. The card tricks you into thinking you should be Golgari. Oh, I see. I haven't seen that card, I don't think. Maybe people, maybe people are getting tricked. Maybe that's what's happening. Mm, I'll take Megalodon. So we ca we have a start to a reanimator deck here, except we don't have um, Zombify. And we don't have the Uncommon. But we certainly have some stuff. Like, this deck doesn't look bad. More Blackguards. Tread Golgari several times and you've been underwhelmed. Demir has a similar plan and seems much better. E yeah, I've liked I, I have liked Demir a lot and I've never even ended up in Golgari. <laughs> Lol, Tuddy. <laughs> Let's take the Wisconsin Crab. Okay. Double vision, huh? Well, here we just take a finishing blow. Worked out really well because there's like nothing else in the pack that's amazing. There's Monastery Mentor, that's pretty good. There's Battle Rattle, which is also good. But this card is amazing. Alright, so now we just need to pick up a Zombify and maybe some more... Like a Tutelage or something? I don't know. Feline Sovereign's text on other cats having Pro Dog was relevant with... Double Malkins! Oh, that's... That's true, I forgot that that card gets Pro, huh? Yeah! We're just missing a few things, Molly. I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okie dokie smoky. I think we just take Rise again now. That is like literally one of the pieces we're missing. And we have double Meggy. We need more ways to bin. We have Carry and Grub, which helps. We need... I guess we can Mind Rot ourselves. That sounds awful. Yeah, so we need a little bit more binning action. More like looting. What's the best common removal spell? Scorching Dragonfire, I want to say. Grasp of Darkness is not bad. Grasp of Darkness is very good. It's just hard to cast. Really want the... Yes, Protégé would be very good in this deck. Yeah, we need like a Protégé or the Stitcher... The Snitches Get Stitches card. I forget what it's called. The three mana reanimate card. Let's take more Grasp. Wait, what's happening? Take the Grasp. Gooby Snitcher. Obsession? Uh, it's not obs Obsessive Stitcher. That one. Thank you. Uh, interesting. I want to take mind control. Also, because I kind of want to test out this theory of a lot of people saying that they don't like mind control. But I, I still feel like it's... I haven't gotten to play enough with it. So, control magic it is. It is much worse than Thalid. That I do not believe, DC. 
Elder kind of loots. Death Bomb Thylet is just not a good card. It's just... Um, Crypt Lurker kind of does what we want. You can discard a creature card. We can discard Meggie and then just reanimate it. <laughs> we could also take uh, Pestilent Haze. That card is also... Is also not bad. I like to point at Council too. Maybe. You like Crypt Lurker quite a bit. Vader, the art for Crypt Lurker or the original sketch is going for sale right now on the MTG art market. I was thinking about doing a bid because it's it looks like a finished piece, but it's just like a sketch. Can we make the Chrome Le Replicator work? I don't think so. We have double Blackguard and that's it. Thalad is a solid three drop. I'm not saying it's bad, but I just I don't think it's better. I don't think that's better than Mind Control. DC saying that it's much worse than Thalad, which I don't really. I don't know if I can really get behind. We have double Maggie. Get out, Molly. Go home. I'm gonna take the replicator, but double Maggie, huh? Oh, Shipwreck Dowser is good. When an ATB's return target insert a social card from a grave to your hand. I like that. Miscast or Arcanist? Arcanist looks okay. How is Dowser coming in this late? I think no one's blue. Sublime Epiphany would be so sweet with a Shipwreck Dowser. It's not as hot as the 3-1 Indestructible being better than Baneslayer. Who's saying that? That That is that one is also too hot. People just like to get too cute, man. That's what's going on. People like to get super cute. And sometimes you just have Baneslayer Angel. <laughs> Arena drafters were sent them to Jibot. Yeah, Arne. Ah! Some people, I mean... Medium, I think. <laughs> Bots are really bad, but people people drafters can be really bad too. People drafters can train wreck your draft, which bots don't really do. Bots kind of find their lane and then they operate in their lane. Ah, uh, the protege came back. That's pretty good. Yeah, exactly, Ark. That 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 one is too hot. That's ghost pepper level levels of hot. So I think the chrome replicator kind of is not getting there. Um, but if we end up with another, like, Crypt Murlurker, like, another Death Broom Thalad or Protégé, maybe we run it. Yeah, that's your two, Molly. That, that's the annoying thing about playing against bots, is, like, you can exploit the way the bots work, which you can't really do that with people. People can draft well or poorly, but you can't predict how they're gonna do it. <laughs> Wait, what did you say, Fader? What did you say? Hmm. AK is not bad. Hey, Firefly, welcome. Oh, congratulations on your graduation. That was cool. Jeskai Elder honestly is loot, but it looks awful. Let's not play that. Uh, the Black Guards kind of work if we get the Chrome Lepricator in, otherwise they're bad. Third pick, Ugin, was that a human draft? That's weird, but yeah, I guess that can happen. <sighs> Ugin is hard to cast. Like, if you're drafting Boros, you're, it's really hard to play Ugin. Wisconsin crab can go. The rewind is not looking great. Rewind is kind of nice with finishing blow. You get to like counter their spell and then finishing blow them. Ooh, unsubstantiate is not bad too. There's also a larcenist. A lot of people out here forcing aggro. Yeah, it, this format is aggressive. I think I'm gonna take unsubstantiate. It looks a little bit better than the other nonsense. This to the sideboard. Oh, that's unfortunate, Tom Richards. I've definitely wrecked some people's drafts. Also mine, obviously. <laughs> yeah. That it can happen. Ooh, Sanctum of All. I think we just want to take... Hmm. It is good in this format, Sponzi. Like, I think if you are playing, like, a deck like this, you need to have a lot of early interaction, because otherwise you just get run over. I do like the Roaming Ghost Light a lot. Um, since we already have double Megalodon. So, Jumbi, because I have double Meggy, I think we take the Mana War. This is not Phantom, now. Nah. You get to keep all the cards. They are proper drafts. But if it wheels, maybe we'll play it. Because that card is good. I just feel like we don't need it, given that we have double Meggy already. Sanctum does loot. Yeah, it's good. The blue Sanctum does loot. How does it fall in our curve? Hold on, let me look. So who's in our draft? 
Dr. Hubris, I like that name. Lancer, Infinito, I don't know how you say that. The Witty Llama, Angelo, Angela Kuhn, Eleanor. Yeah, ghost light is, is the truth, Sponzi. I am a believer in the ghost light. Yeah, I like that name a lot, too. So we can't pick up any more fives. Like, we need to pick up more cheap stuff. Wait, you have a hubris? It's a Ben Wheeler emote. You love to see it. How's Ben doing, demon? Carrioncito, Crypt Lurker. I like all of our cards. I think the only thing we don't want to run is these black cards because they look bad, truly. The Malefic Scythe? I don't know if that card's any good in our deck. The Frantic Inventory also looks kind of medium. William Dealing? I like it. He's doing alright? Nice. I like to hear that. Mm. True arc. Oh my goodness. I, I can't really take the Dowser. I mean, maybe we take the Dowser and then we put away the, the rare is good. Let me look at the rare real quick. Oh, the rare is good. Yeah, we're taking Baron. I thought this was something, I don't know why this looked like the Orrery to me. I, it's probably because there's an Orrery in the background. I thought it was that unplayable card. The beginning of your end step of a permanent was put into your hand from the battlefield to string draw a card. Bouncing Dowser, too. It's better than just having a second Dowser. I don't even know we want the, the Dowser, though, Omni. We have so many... Hold on. What am I getting tagged in? What the, am I getting tagged in? We could take another Crypt Merc Lurker. It's better than Rewind, maybe. Oh, Baron is sweet with Skyscanner. You're right. Should we just take Skyscanner here instead of Crypt Lurker? I haven't really been impressed with Skyscanner in this format. No, Rewind does not look good. I kind of feel like it's just uh, another Crypt Lurker. Let's move Rewind out of here. <gasps> Ghost Light. I kind of want to take another Ghost Light. Skeleton Archer is okay, uh, Moon. I I don't love it, but it's 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 been okay. We did take the replicator, but now we're getting to a point where we just have to... We have too many. Too many fives. Too many cooks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can't really do that. I think that just means we don't play the replicator. And then we do need rise again and finishing blow. And then we can keep the dowser and the hold, but that's it. Ooh. Tutelage is not... Tutelage is not bad. We only have a frantic inventory and an opt. But if we play that, and then maybe we take out the scythe because we kind of didn't get there. And also take out maybe a black guard. Is your animator a real archetype M21? Yeah, for sure, te te Teth Rose. I have drafted it quite a bit. I, it's really good too. We're missing one of the key pieces. We're missing the three mana uncommon that reanimates. Um obsessive stitcher or something like that and it is quite good hey joey welcome uh but yeah this isn't us just like trying to do it for cube draft it it, it actually i think is pretty good archetype i'm gonna take this guy just the sideboard <laughs> oh man that's pretty funny <laughs> so kenji kenji this bk sent me this tweet it's a tweet of Kenji, who's drafted who's Sanctum of All into Sanctum of Calm Waters, into Sanctum of Faithful Harvest, into Sanctum of Tranquil Light. And then his follow-up tweet is, one in three. <laughs> Which is the exact same thing that happened to us. That, that deck is a trap, Chad. Don't fall for it. Yeah, Kenji's new mod. Do we just take another Roaming Ghost Slide? I'm just not going to say no to these. At this point, I might just take out Enthralling Hold. Like, it's, we're not going to steal anything. We're just going to bounce all their stuff. Ooh, Dismal Backwater looks good. He literally just did that. The games were so sweet, though. Oh, BK, look at all the ghost lights I have. I'm I think, I'm think thinking about sideboarding Enthralling Hold. What, what do I do, BK? Do I maybe just cut the reanimator package? 
Do I just get rid of Spine Megalodon and Rise again and then just instead play the Replicator and just a bunch of Ghost Lights? We could just not be Reanimator. Take a Sanctum. Yeah, I'm looking at kind of cutting the package. So we cut that, that, and that, and Dismal Backwater to the sideboard for now. Then we get... Uh... Huh, do we actually want the Black Sancta? Maybe. Did I... Yeah, speaking, I was just talking about it. Did you just come back in? I was just talking about the link you sent me. I enjoyed it. I was like, we're doing it, baby! One and three. Black Sanctum is is good. I think the Black Sanctum is kind of sweet. I don't think we're playing Skelly Archer, though. So now that we've gone that route, maybe we can bring back the Scythe. No, I know, BK. You, it's just funny because I thought you might have heard it because I was literally just talking about it. I read it out loud to chat. Yeah, you're right. Carry and Grub. Um, carry and Grub. Once we ditch the reanimator plan, <laughs> that's that's some people hurts. We're definitely the right color. So, if we do this, I don't know. If we want the Crypt Lurker anymore. I guess we have double Crypt Lurker, and maybe do we even want the Sanctum of Calm Waters? I don't even know that we do. Maybe we just play the Black Sanctum for kicks. It is a real clock. How about Vidalian Arcanist? How's that doing here? Mm, it's not looking good. Sanctum is good with tutelage. So maybe we just add the Sanctum back in and then we just take out the Vidalian Arcanist. Maybe that's the plan. How about this? Uh, I could see Frantic Inventory. What do we add instead of Frantic Inventory though? I want something that is good against aggro. It could be either the Arcanist or maybe like Skeleton Archer. Yeah, it could be just another two drop. We're very, we are light on early creatures. Let's just play Arcanist. It does make our finishing blow a little bit cheaper. It doesn't help with a ton of stuff, but having a one three is just good. All right, let's, uh, let's choose our style first. Mm. We want to be styling. Mm. The mirror sleeves sound good. Yeah, Tom Anima probably works in this deck, Gatekeeper. I don't. I think I like Tom Anima in more aggressive decks. I don't think we're super aggressive. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Cryptic Command sleeves would be good for this. Agreed. Oh, question, Fader. Do you know when the uh, one shot campaign is happening? I'm like, I'm just here, like, so excited for it. What about Cryptic Commando sleeves? Lol. The weekend of July 12th. Ooh! It, oh, I am stoked. I am, like, very much looking forward to this. It's, like, the kind of thing I'm going to put on my calendar so I make sure I don't miss it. Ah, mm. uh, let me switch over to the other view. Yeah, me too. I think it's gonna be awesome. I am like very much looking forward to it. July 12th is our estimated date, so it's happening soon, TM. Janice is building the campaign from scratch, so it takes time. That's really sweet. Is my opponent just not here? It's days before your birthday! That's cool, Teddy. Are you planning on doing anything fun this year? My birthday is coming up. It's not for a bit, but my guess is not nothing fun's gonna happen given the state of the world. <laughs> so Coax Coax, I I know people like sometimes try to juke with their sleeves. I feel like I will have a card in my deck and I'll just use the sleeve. Like, I don't really care. I know it's like a leak of information or whatever, but I enjoy it. Nah, yeah, that's right, Teddy. So my opponent really just uh, missed their first turn, huh? I'm actually just gonna play Blackguard. Maybe get tattoos, that's kind of cool. No, Beer Mystic. Aw, that's sad. 
I don't believe anything fun's gonna happen, not really. So they could have the, like, two mana destroy a thing that's tapped, but I honestly don't care if they do that. What is GBAF? Oh, that's cool, Yurg. I don't think I've seen that sleeve. Um. <laughs> Bam! Baby Bam here to say hi and watch magic! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. You're more than welcome, Bim. How's the new life with Baby going? I'm so happy for you. I think I'm just gonna play Arcanist and then play a Swamp so I can kill their thing if I actually play something. Or wait, GABF, Great American Beer Festival in Denver, and I had a hotel and a ticket lined up. I'm so sorry, Beer Mystic, that's so sad. Oh no, they're gonna kill my masked blackguard. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh shoot, Stunlock, this is really cool. Awesome, Bim! I love to see it. Okie dokie. What am I? Yeah, I, I saw that stunlock. I, I just got them. That was really sweet. I think I will grasp the darkness this thing so my guys can keep attacking. Oh. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, so I'll either finish and blow something or like opt into figure it out. And then if they just play a random creature, I can just I mean, ghost light, fl uh, bounce it. Swift response on my thing. Mm, sure. Oh, for, for real, Sponzi. I hate when Skelly Archer gets me because it makes me feel like a fool. Just like, I could have played around this somehow, but I didn't. Ah, uh, Grasp of Darkness is pretty good. I mean, I have like really anemic beats, but... <laughs> Harsh but fair. Alright, I'm just gonna pass here. We can both unsubstantiate and grasp a little something something. Mmm, that's not very good. Okay, so instead of doing anything here, I'm just gonna play the ghost light. Bounce that, attack. Now they probably like maybe do one drop or maybe they have like a three drop, two drop. Gain one. <laughs> that actually puts them out of range of lethal. Brutal. I'm just gonna... Bounce that. Okay. Roaming Ghost Light is so sick. The fact that it's just a 3 2 is like. Ugh, 3 2s attack for a lot. I don't know. That's cool, Teddy. How far? When are you gonna get that? Yep, they are. Field, brah. We're making good progress, chat. I think we'll hit platinum today. <laughs> Only two more days till I quit work! So, did you already put in your two weeks notice, Lubars? Or are you gonna put your two weeks notice in two days? You already put your- okay, cool. When do you start your new job? I guess I'll keep this. We do need a black source. Yeah, for sure. I agree with uh I agree with DC's take. Got to make sure you get You're get if you're going to get it on your body and it's going to be there forever, got to make sure it's safe and you like it. Mm, I guess I'm bouncing the doge. Mm. 
That's a weird champs unlock. <laughs> yeah, it's yay, but also Monkaes. Oh, are they missing land drops? They are. Interessante. Kind of feel like we just play the side and equip bar in. Because then next turn we can just roaming ghost slide and bounce. Yeah, it's a wee question mark? Wee question mark question mark? Okay, they so they drew a land this turn because they missed one last turn. Sure. Look at all these mangy curs. Um, yeah, too mangy for you. Who do we bounce? Probably the Alpine Watch Douge. That way they can't block my bar in properly. That's funny, Fab. Your coworker. Oh no, Stunlock. That is really rough. I don't like that. Hmm. We, we are the beatdown. It's not even close. So I think we can start playing the Sanctum and the Crypt Lurker and just not bin anything. Um, we'll just attack with a roaming Ghost Light, I think. That'll just be... That'll just be better. Decline. I guess I could stack it and put a counter or put a counter on the side, but we're playing against Boro, so I kind of just don't want to... I don't want to go to... I want to go wider. Ring Wing Mirror. Oh, baby. That was pretty sweet. Hog. Hi, Shrimpin. How are you? Yep, they're off it. Can't blame them. Ghostlight is messed up. Do you see how good it is? I can't believe how many we got past. We got past so many. Oh, you mean both of my roaming ghost lights? Ark, I don't mean to brag, but we have four roaming ghost lights in this deck. <laughs> we drew three that game. They conceded to the third one. Eh, we can keep this. You're good. You two are leaving your job in the next week. Do you have something lined up after Shrimpin? Ooh, that was a fantastic draw. Feels good, man. True, true Ark. They're probably like third ghost like dance game. Ah, that's not bad, except it doesn't quite work. So, I guess we can just go like, scythe equip. And then if they want to hit me with a mangy dog, I'm just not going to attack actually. I think uh, they're black red. I think they're probably being kind of aggro. Hmm. Are we bending bar into the Crypt Lurker? No, I don't think so. I think we're just playing Crypt Lurker. Yep. Weird is a very good thing to enthrall. I'm I'm getting ready for it. Bin Shrine? D isn't it you may sacrifice a creature or discard a creature card? Yeah, that doesn't quite work. I think I'm just gonna Crypt Lurker and not bin anything. Like, Baron is... Yourself and a couple of friends have actually very fortunate and have secured some funding to start our own company? Fuck yeah, Shrimpin, that's so cool. I would love to hear what it's about if you don't mind us t telling us, but either way, like, that is awesome. Yeah, Molly speaks from experience. I can tell when Molly's been hurt. I'm gonna decline. It, it kind of is that miser Lou. It's a little different than like an actual like company company. They're not attacking. Um, I think we can just pass with finishing blue. That's so cool, shrimping. I am loving that. That is that is super sweet. Um, okay, so here we have to uh, kill something because sacrifice a creature, you gain one life and draw one card. So let's go. I think we kill the battle rattle. 
It's true, Z's man. That's all fine, Teddy. Good luck. So cool, Shrimpin. Soup's cool. I think they probably still have something to pump up the jam. Mmm. Oh, they got spooked. Sacrifice a creature, you gain one life and draw one card. Oh my god. I need a blue source so bad. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I don't think they smell the control magic. I think they wanted to play this and they didn't want to commit to using um, whatever spell they had for that. Whatever, let's just play that. Oh, I guess I have tutelage and looters. I shouldn't have played that. That was a mistake. Mm. That's bad for me. Okay, no blocks. Really need to draw that blue source, baby. That helps. Next turn, we're gonna drain two and draw two. Um, I think we can probably block the cur. They have to like tump bump it up twice for this to work. It means that they don't like really do that much else. And we get a counter on the side, which is something. Okay, so we trade the cur, and then the side gets an extra counter. Good, good, good. I think it's the snorkeling industry. Yes, it's a going deep industry. Wait, oh, they're super red black sack, huh? All right, blue source, please, baby. Draw two. Yeah, Psycho. Yeah. We'll Thank you. Welcome back to the fourteen. I really appreciate that. All right, what are we binning? We found the blue source. Mm. Probably the black guard. Yeah, we can. I th yeah, I think it's the black guard. This is a really good turn to steal it because they, they're topped out. So, yoink! Ship it! And then I can equip it also. Love it. No, it's not happy, dude. I, I made that sound myself. <laughs> Ship it, equip it, yeah. <laughs> Oh no. Alright, well we can bounce that thing. Though that thing does deal me damages every time um, they sack or something. Draw two cards. Yeah, let's do it. Discard a card. Uh, what am I doing this turn? They are taking a lot of damage from the Sanctums. It's doing it's doing decent decent work. I could play my bar in and just bounce the Havoc Jester. On sub and hitting for eight. Isn't it better to just play bar in, bounce the Jester and hit for... I'm definitely bending land. I guess unsub and opt is like more damage. Yeah, I kind of like it, Molly. That's cute. Let's try it. I should have definitely opted first for what it's worth. We haven't played a land yet, so... But if we had opted, maybe we could have gone opt into Baron or something. Let's see. Beep, 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 beep. So this is sack another creature, put a plus one plus one counter on Hobble Fiend. Okay, so I don't have to use it yet. Should I just hit for nine? Should I just kill the Hobble Fiend? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Probably gonna sack it. So then they play this thing, then we bounce it. And also we have four roaming ghost sites that we can draw to bounce the Jester. Sounds like you speak from experience, Molly. Weird. It's almost like... It's almost like unsubstant- or what, what's it called? Enthralling hold has hurt you before. Here it is. No. Here. 
Thrill! Yeah. It's not like Willie speaks from experience at all. <laughs> Nine is more than eight. That is not even gooby math. That's just actual math. Uh, what am I at? 19? Oh, yeah, I can keep drawing. Ship! <laughs> I'm just teasing, Molly. I'm just teasing. Just teasing. Let me bend the swampery now. Are they just dead? What is our plan? Mm, I can't give a trample either. This is stupid. <sighs> yeah, I guess like... Do the thing, I suppose. Yeah, I'll probably bounce the other one with the bar in. I don't even know if it's worth it. Yo, pick me turtle, welcome. Uh, I love the top dress. It's it's just the top. Thank you, pick me though. I feel like I'm gonna save the bounce. I think I'm just gonna play um, Death Bloom Thalid and hold up Grasp of Darkness. And then next turn when they play the Jester, I'm just gonna use the Baron on it, probs. Mmm, sure. I'll probably just bounce that. So if we go... We can grasp the standard bearer. That does mean that they're gonna sack this. No, Molly, I think if I grasp of darkness the standard bearer, they'll sack it. So I think what I'm gonna do is grasp this thing. We are secretly a shrine deck. We just have these two, Ryan, but they're a good combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they draw and now they're tapped out. And now I go, ooh, tutelage is not bad. Drain them and draw two cards. Yeah, it was good debate. Oh, ooh, I like that. Hi, Jules. What's going on, girl? Let me just bend the tutelage. I'll just bar into flex on them. Boom, baby. I think it's funny that we tried to draft a reanimator deck and then we just secretly became like a ghost light deck or something. I don't really know. Hey, Brandy, welcome. Ooh, what are you trying to hunt? Are you just getting shinies just for shinies or are you actually trying to get a specific shiny? Yeah, for real, Sponzy. For reals. I kinda, kinda need a snacky. I need a snack game, really hungry. Oh, Jules. Jules, what happened? What's going on, girl? Uh, yeah, I can keep this. Yeah, Tina, so we stole that. We, they had a spell Gorger Weird and, um, they, they, it was a 4-4 when we stole it. And then our deck is also just all spells, so it became huge. Yeah, as it turns out, it's still looking okay. Looking alright. I think I might trade here. You're trying to get horsey? You're on 520 eggs so far? Ugh. You're trying to build a team of dragon types? That's cool. Oh man, they're feeding me. No! Horrible. I guess I didn't really get to do anything else this turn, so that's something. Hey, welcome back, Dokumoy. Hi, Jules. Welcome back, too. Hey, Papa. Is that you? Is that you, Papa? Can you do me a solid? Can you throw a string cheese up the stairs for me? Chat, we're dying because we're missing land drops. What? String cheese! Sounds better than Baby Bell. Oh my gosh, we're dying. If I draw land next turn and... Alright, you threw it upstairs? Snack acquired. The 
Did they bottom or top? Uh, yeah, let's just play this. Do I eat string cheese mousse or sauce? No, I ate it like a civilized person, but it is harder to eat it like that. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be bad, dog. Mm. Decline. You want to ditch Dowser? Oh, maybe we maybe we did. Maybe we did need to dump something. Yeah, I probably should have been. You're right. Mm. This thing has death touch, right? Oh shit. I live at my parents' place. Why do you get that impression, Kern? I think I'm just gonna chump here and make them pump. Oh, is it because I said pop them? Luis, Luis is a father. <laughs> His daughter calls him Papa, so sometimes they call him Papa. That's why. All right, yeah, I should have definitely been. That was a mistake. I was like, why? That's weird. <laughs> Nice ghost lights, goobs. Sometimes I, I call him Luis a lot too, but I also call him Papa. Mm. This is pretty bad. Oh no. Alright, well, we didn't get punished, luckily. Chat's the biggest pog champ right now? I don't know about that, BK. Yeah, we were super dead. <laughs> mm, I can want him again. It's 5 o'clock now. Boom. Back, baby. Hmm. Right now's not a good time to strike, though. He's not even in the stream right now. I feel like you have to wait until he's in chat to do it. Gotta get the most value. Wait. Squirrel, what the hell is that? <laughs> well, that's also not true, Louise. You better watch out. That's a new command. I had no idea that was a thing. When did that happen? Also, look at this dog. Hmm. It's not a new command? Since when has it existed? Oh my god, someone's up to 4222k rupees? How do you do that? How is that even possible? Walking corpse, eh? They're curving out. Uh, I think we want lands, yeah. Can I draw two drop or three drop? Well, no, I don't want as many lands. That's okay though. I'm gonna take a hit from that. And then play the Lurker. And then I can get Ghost Light, Ghost Light into Replicator Copy. Amazing. What is that? At the beginning of your end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, return silver smote ghoul from your graveyard to your hand tapped and a bunch of other nonsense. All right. <laughs> I snap responded within two hours is not snap responding. I think the Deathbloom Thalid looks good. I could see, like, binning the Thalid to draw something. Like, how many draws do we have that are better than the Thalid? Some stuff. I feel like we should just keep the Thalid. It looks good against this board. Some days you feel like snap responding within two hours, Johnny. Who's to say? Try making a standard deck with silver mode ghoul and- Oh no, Alana, that is a bummer. We got three turns of five drops to play though. Well, yeah, I guess maybe we could have been looking for a two drop or something so that on turn seven we can do. Oh gosh. Uh, 
I will just take this hit, I think. Send me pics on Discord. Thank you, Vim. I will check them out. No blocks. Ow. All right. Fifth land. And now we can get rolling. So let's start by bouncing the ghoul. I don't think we attack. Because they can just equip... Um, one of those things, and then we'd have to trade with a ghost light. We're at 13. I think we're just gonna start playing ghost lights and then attacking with ghost lights. Alright, that thing's back. Land and equip, probably. Alright, so we're gonna run back the exact same play. Ooh, that's not bad. That's that. The ghoul is annoying for sure, but I think these ghost lights are going to give us some breathing room. Because now we're going to get to chrome replicator with two ghost lights, so we make an extra 4-4. Four four. And then those 4-4s four can just block against the scythe for a while. Yeah, the players was so nice, we just ran it back. Mm. Mm. There you go. Or we draw another ghost light and we're just going to keep playing them. Ghost light. I kind of want to... I love the art of this card. I think it would be cool to try to find it. I don't know why it looks so pretty. Whatever. I think they just want to get counters on it. <laughs> it really is, Ponzi. Oh, they wanted a skelly archer kill my crypt merc lurker. That's fine. I don't even care. Wow, we're gonna get to do the thing. Amazing! Won't you look at that? That's definitely an achievement. The, 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 the most intense achievement would be the one that we would have had in this deck if we had actually played them. And it is copying Replicator off of two, like, Megalodons. <laughs> That's, like, basically impossible. Oh, man, Arik, I had a sick Sublime Epiphany. Actually, yesterday, it wasn't on stream. I was playing off stream. Um, but it was, like... Counter their, like, six-drop bomb. Copy... Bounce their, like, creature token. Copy my roaming ghost light to bounce their other card and then draw a card. And they obviously just scooped immediately. It's just not close. Okay, so they're gonna scythe up the skelly. Sure. Um. I should just double block, I think. I guess this is really bad if they have, like, a kill 3 CMC or less card. They can't have Grasp of Darkness, luckily. Lost the game to Sublime Epiphany, copy Colossal Dreadmo- Yeah, that's messed up. Okay, it has three counters on it. They're probably gonna put it on the Watch Dooge. Sure. Yeah, the, the size on the life linker is going to be kind of bad. Ooh. I think... Well, we're definitely hitting with a roaming ghost light. Because we can take damage from the alpine watchdog. We have blocks that we can make. So let's just play Death Bloom Salad. Yeah, that will help with the Life Linker for sure. I mean, the the thing is, their thing's gonna get huge. But if their plan is to move over the the side to the Anointed Corister, maybe we can like line up something. Part of it too is we just need to make sure that they don't gain enough life that the Ghost Lights can't race them. So that the Grasp of Darkness might help with that. Hmm. Okay. So. We're gonna take the hit from the dog. This is five to pump up the jam. So I'm gonna pass to blocks and put that there. 
And they'll pump and then we'll just kill it. I kind of feel like maybe they should have just moved on to that thing. Okay. Yep. So what happens if we attack with all and they have the watchdog? Six gets through, they block here. Yep, they're dead. Yeah, Dragon Grasp with Darkness there helped a lot. Dobbs. Chat, we're like two matches away from getting a plat. Today will be a successful rank up stream. I guess it's a lot easier to rank up through gold nowadays. This hand looks good. My Discord's hung up. I don't really know what's going on. Oh, there you go. There we goes. Steel Series Danish Pride. I like Steel Series. They sponsor the stream. Hey, Darzog, welcome back. Are we crushing? We're like 4-1, I want to say. This deck is pretty good, Darzog. Let me show you. We've got four roaming ghost lights. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to let them take the opt, because I think I'd rather just they take the opt. <laughs> They're going to take their tutelage, though. Hey, Tomodachi! How's the draft going? It's good. Thanks for asking. We're trying to rank up to Mythic, baby. And I don't think we can do better than that. We do. We've got a lots of roaming ghost lights indeed. Sounds good, Brandy. Enjoy. Gotta get to sleep before 1 a.m. I can respect that. Have a good night. Yeah. It's funny, Darzog. This deck started out as being a reanimator deck, and then we got so many ghost lights that we just kind of pivoted into that. Uh, sure. I know. This used to be a copper stream, and it still is sometimes. Well, there's the start. So, I th think we do attack. That's awesome, AQ. Yeah, I love Steel Series stuff. I have, um, this is my keyboard. And it comes with this, uh, this kind of like cool, oh, mouse rest that is magnetic that attaches like that. So,. I don't use the headphones that often because, like, I like their headphones. I think they're awesome. But for Arena, like, you don't really need the sounds. So, I... It's different if you're playing something like, I don't know, Fortnite or, like, Dead by Daylight. Like, those headphones actually are awesome because they're directional. You can kind of see, like, where the sound's coming from. For Arena, it's like the Tavern Swindler attack, you know? Tutelage seems like they will be harder to race with life gain. E yeah, but we're not tutelaging them. Like, we're more of a tempo deck, honestly. We have a couple of... We have the Sanctum, uh, Blue Sanctum and Black Sanctum. So... Um, we're not even really trying to, like, tutelage them that much. It's just a powerful card. Okie dokie. Oh, they're missing... They're missing mini land drops. Squirrel! God, why did I say anything? I just knew it was coming. How do you do with the shrines deck? Can't think we went one and three. Which was, you know. Uh I think I'm just gonna pass here without tutelage, because I think they're gonna attack with a hollow blade. <laughs> Squirrel! This is slander. Okay, so they're gonna attack with the Season Hollow Blade, and then I'm gonna block. And then they're gonna discard a card, and then I'm gonna grasp it. Well, 
One and three was trying to is above average. I honestly thought the deck was gonna be like easy 03. The fact that we won one game was just like a freaking miracle. So they've been missing land drops. I think that means we. They discarded finishing blow, yeah. I think it's because they've been missing land drops. So I think we should bounce the Palladium Mirror. And. Tackle both. <laughs> I don't know, Squirrel. Who's Chad gonna believe? That I am a good teammate and I'm trying to listen to the killer cues so that my teammates can live. Or, holy sh. Well, that was bad. Um. Wow, what do we do now? Stone fags into protege, I guess. Oh, we got we got spitefold. Good, we really did. I'm gonna let that thing hit. I think we can keep attacking with this fight. Why am I suggesting that chat wouldn't believe you? What if both is true? Oh my god, no! Skeleton archer is a combo with Carvec. Oh, blocks. I mean, that's pretty good. I think we should take it. Ship it. It it stinks because it's not like their stuff shrinks, but I I, I still it's still the biggest creature on the board. Like this doesn't do anything. Hey David, welcome. Oh my god, stop. Oh, they're just churning through their little little idiots. I don't know, mind control's been pretty good for us this draft. I know people hate it. Okay, so let's start by draining. Can you not tap me so heinously? Okay. Mm -hmm. I do, David. They're at 23. Oh, yeah, I forgot that she gets mad when you touch her. Look, no touchy. <laughs> so, do we just try to loot away the Vidalian Arcanist? It really doesn't do that much against um, what they have going on. Apparently, it's trendy to dislike controlling mines. Yeah, apparently. I feel like maybe I'll just loot it away. I'm gonna not play it. It's just a 1-3. It can't even block this. Okay, that's fine. It's a 1-1. One, one. Isn't the answer always loot? Uh, yeah. I mean, looting is pretty good. Yep. Discard that. This is much better. Much better. Ew. Don't mind that. That's gonna be bigger than most of the board. Oh, did you see that? It's a gloom sower. Never look behind, always loot. Yes, or never look at the last. You should never look at the top of your deck when you concede. That's also like a, a truism. I'm just gonna play a sanctum. These pa these these sanctums are the biggest pog champ, BK. Hey Gabby, are you mono Demir in drafts? Yeah, we've drafted Demir a lot in this format. I think Demir. Good. I also think is it's good. I think blue's pretty good. Maybe that's the common thread. Is it true that BK is the least big pog champ? Nah, BK is a moderately big pog champ. I don't know if he's the biggest pog champ. No. All right, that's gonna change the dynamics of the game. Wait, are they hitting with Palladium here? Okay, that was- I was about to say. That's kind of weird. Okay, so we're at 20 and they're at 17. Ooh, Grasp of Darkness is not bad. Um... You need to help my parents to know that I'm gay and it's really hard for me to be myself. Can I give me some advice? Um... That's that's a little rough for me to give you advice on. Um, I am not. 
I have not been in that spot, slash... I didn't know what the relationship between you and your parents is like. Um, so it's hard... It's hard for me to like really give you very good advice there. I think uh, you might want to try to find some online communities of people who have done gone through the same experience and then see maybe how they handled that. Um, and then know that there are people out there who will always just love and support you, especially your parents. But um, it is a difficult situation to navigate. So much love to you, um, especially if you're you know struggling with it right now. Baron bounce our own full greed mode. That's a little too greedy, I think. I like that Jurg. And yeah, I will I will take any advice also that Chad has maybe for for David. I think that'd be good. Um I kind of just want to slow them down because I think the way we're going, we're just gonna deck them. Nice, thank you, Squirrel. That is awesome. I th think I'm just gonna bounce the skeleton archer and then I'll grasp the freebooter. Because it's just hella slow. They might sack it and that's fine. Yeah, speaking of good communities. Of course, David. Look, there's a bunch of people in chat here who are very happy to uh, to help. Hey, good night, Z's man. Okay. They are done. Go get some Z's. Yeah, David Mendoza might not be American. Yeah, I'm sure there's like... Whether it be local organizations or even just like online groups that... Um, are there to support you through some of this stuff. Like, there are resources out there for almost anything. All right. Let's go. Islam. Thanks, chat. That was all that was all very good advice. Chat coming up clutch. Maybe chat is the greatest pog champ. It's definitely chat. Hey, Money! Welcome. We we have a pretty broken deck this time, Money. I think I'm gonna start with Opt and see what we get. Cause we're not gonna play Baron on this board. Eh, we can do better than Swamp. Eh. Awkward. Yes, that I agree with that six foot. It's get very lucky, little Rupestre. It's have everybody pass you some roaming ghost lights. That's that's the that's the that's the true the true strat. I'm just gonna play Sanctum. Yeah, it's impressive. Chat manages to have lethal way more than like an individual person does. I wonder why it happens. Hi, Shadow. Welcome. All right, we're just gonna bounce that with the roaming ghost light. Sure. Probably been island. Hmm. Do we just play like tutelage and get that going? I kind of feel like we can do that and then just steal the turret ogre. Bin swamp. Oh! Did you see this? Did you all see that? Much love, David. Yeah. See, you can you can always get support from online communities, especially people who maybe no one understand what going through some of that stuff is like. Yeah, this game is going to the tubes, Jinjani. That is Omega laughing cap. Oh, you're so sweet. Ah, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna want to steal that one over the turret ogre. Let me just play this thing. Whenever one of the words becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, you may draw two cards. We don't have a way to tap it. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna. Oh, it has VG. Um. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. That is very bad for us. 
BG ruins our plans. I think we might just keep targeting that thing. All right, here's the plan. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. We're going to bin the swamp. Yep, the plan is we're just going to make them draw cards. <laughs> just keep bouncing it forever. And I will not attack. They're down to 20. And then we have the Sanctum and the Tutelage. And we have two more bounce spells. So... They declined to draw, which I think I think they may have realized what's happening. I know. Our opponent got smart. It's okay, we still get to bounce it a million times. Like, this is just gonna fog, like, three of their turns or something. If they attack with a turret ogre, I can just trade it with a roaming ghost light. Nice. Draw. They're at 18. Any black cards in their graveyard? The swamp intrigues me. Yeah, let me look. Bloodfell caves and no. So whatever they're splashing for, Ryan, is in their hand or their deck. Interesante. Yeah, of course I want to draw a card. Mmm. What are we binning? It honestly looks like Enthralling Hold's not doing it this game. Nothing yet. So... Play another... Nice Spanish. Yeah, you're I am. I'm Hispanic. Bounce Warden. Yeah, we're still milling for a lot of each turn. We have the tutelage in that thing. <gasps> okay. Good beats. No attacks. Yeah, I'm from Ecuador. Got him. <laughs> so if we draw on land next turn, we could play Baron and Deathloom Thalad. We just have to make sure we keep chumping this. It doesn't have Trample, so we Gucci. Didn't know that? Yeah, I think a lot of people don't realize that I'm Hispanic. For reals, Janus, what, what is this Hexproof PS? Yes. All right, we're just going to block with Blackguard. Hmm. I think tree does not have reach. There's another one that looks like it that does have reach. It's the 4-4, I think. Hi, Felipe. Hey! Hi, Felipe. Welcome, Calda. Oh, shoot. That's bad for me. They're at 13. So let me bend the backwater. Yeah, this is the opponent with a- Oh my gosh, they had another one! They had another- Oh, there it is! They're splashing for finishing blow and rise again. That's what they were splashing for. So they're at 11. We just have to make sure we... Um, now we have to bounce the Gargaroth. So let's go Baron into bounce Gargaroth. And then we can also play Deathbloom Thalid. And really, we just have to make not die. We're milling for four a turn. Yeah, now we know what they're splashing for. They're down to 10, and we are milling them for four a turn. And then this can buy back. This is instant or sorcery, right? This is an enchantment, sadly. We can buy back opt, I suppose. Javier, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. Welcome everybody coming in from Javier's stream. Hope you had a good one. Yeah, we're gonna get back the opt. And then we can... That is two more. Hi Javier, welcome. I hope you had a really good stream. We are playing some ranked draft. We're uh, trying to rank up again since the ranks reset. Tutelage to see how things are done here. Yeah, we're being dirty tryhards. I am trying to rank up this time. Oh, that's bad for me. That gives a trample. Shrimpin! Thank you for the 18. Ooh. All right, we're just gonna have to take some damage from that, I think. Yep, they... They did draw another one. 
Okay, this is fine. Um, anyway, welcome everybody coming in from Javier's stream, and thank you again for the raid. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the shout out, Ryan. If you don't know Javier, he's one of the best players in the world. I would be surprised if you didn't know. All right, so we got two, and then we draw another one. Oh, unsubstantiated is amazing. Been the Arcanist. So sick. Holy moly. I know, it's our world champion, baby. Ranks just reset yes or today, Raga, actually. Uh, I believe the season ended this morning. Deck damage, they're almost dead. They're at five. So, this thing has VG reach and trample. I mean... I think we just bounce the Gargaroth and... Then we put the squad in front and then they're dead, right? Unsub our Baron? Is that better than just unsubbing their Gargaroth? What is the benefit? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can unsub... Yeah, if we unsub Baron... If we unsub Baron, then it triggers, right? I think so. Okay, no tax. It is more fun this way too, that is true. All right, so they have two cards left. So they are gonna die next turn. They need to kill me here. Whatever happens here, I think we're just gonna put the whole team in front. Yeah, it's true. It's true that it doesn't change the clock, but it could. It could. They're in the... Not problem. <laughs> Their deck seemed pretty good. They had some good stuff. Look. I don't know about that ogre, but... They had Rise Again. They had Warden of the Woods. They had two of those. Finishing Blow. There's just some random, like, it was just really bad cars, like Kerr. Boop. Library count right now is two, so they will die next turn. Wait, is that two Gargroth? Oh. Sour Seal deals five damage to target creature or planeswalker that permanent loses indestructible until end of turn. I hadn't seen this card. Wow. Soul Seer. Now they play. So wait, did they have two Gargaros or they just bought it back? I thought they ro rose it. Rise again? Rose it again? No. Oh, this thing killed me the other day. Okay, they're dead. Uh, yeah, might as well draw. They're dead. And Dobbs. <laughs> That's funny. If, they, if we were at one, they could have killed us before they didn't draw anything. We did it! Look at us! We did it, chat! <laughs> were they at 20? We never hit them once, right? <laughs> Feels good, man. Also, we might get seven wins here. I know. Back to platinum, baby. Forever plat four stream. Can't de rank from plat four. Really? That's funny. <laughs> I don't like the ogre too much. Way too dumb. It's not that it's like awful. There's clearly decks that you can play it in. Like, I think the red green deck with um, spells matters, like, is probably pretty good for it, but. Should we just get the Sanctum of Stonefangs going? Nah, I guess I get, we just probably want to play Blackguard. This is the boss fight. Beep, 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 beep. Blackguard. They don't have anything. Boom, baby. All right, so next turn we can go Sanctum and Grasp. We need to draw some Ghost Lights. This hand needs Ghost Lights pretty bad. 
Yeah, we do get two shots at a boss fight since... Ooh. Yeah, we will probably want to grasp that thing. Do we just grasp it now? It does let us get in. Seems worth it. Yo, Tina, thank you for the three months. I appreciate that. And then next turn, we can just keep playing our lands and then the Blackguard can keep pumping up the jam. The Quaddle. I would love it, Kern. I was, I was scheduled to go back on it. I don't think they should have blocked there. That was a weird block. I was scheduled to go back onto it, and then, oh, they had the roaming ghost light. They had the jukes, you see. This thing has flash, though. Probably didn't see the ability. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know what happened. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, I am fine to trade this, because now they lose the Ghost Light, my thing gets a counter, we get to play the Replicator, and then next turn we can equip this to make it a 6. LOL, Ryan! Oh no, Rada's pretty good, isn't she? First Strike, as long as it's your turn, Rada, Heart of Keld has First Strike. You may look at the top card of your library anytime, you may play lands from the top of your library. And then for six, Rada gets plus X plus X until in the turn where X is the number of lands you control. Jeez, that's pretty good. Yeah, Rada's not messing around. So if they have... Yeah, she would be a 9-9. I think that means we're still attacking though, with them being at 11. Because they kind of have to block my replicator. Yeah. Which I guess is good for me. It does, we do need to draw a roaming ghost light. That would be very... Does this have haste? It doesn't. I really need to draw a roaming ghost light. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, six foot. Okay, so we can't attack because they have exactly six to animate. But we can play Protégé, and then we can hold on to the Swamp to loot. Oh. No. Alright. Yeah, Unsubstantiate would be so sick. Man. They, they keep hitting lands off the top of their deck. That's unfortunate for us. I think we should loot now and try to find something. Awful. Yeah, way too dumb. It, it is it is good that the replicator is kind of threatening lethal-ish. Okay, so now they can attack, probably. They chose not to. Ooh. Okay, so let's start with opt. Tutelage is pretty good with Teferi's protege. I think this is worth it. It also lets us loot again. Yeah, this is a start, for sure. This is good, and the protege will help too. <gasps> Amazing! Okay, so now we can bin that. Mill them some. What are they at? They're at 19. So I'm not gonna attack. Instead, I'm just gonna. Oh no, I'm sorry, Dom. I mean, it's fine if you're like concerned about it, but. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can take a hit for 10. I think that's fine. Hmm, they just hit for three. So they must have drawn something else. Wait, what did they draw? They must have a kill spell or something. Oh, <laughs> they have a uh, Subira. Subira's pretty good. Down to 16. 
Oh, whoopsies. I thought we were in end-step, actually. Sure. Down to 14. Nug them. I think we just... What do we do here? <laughs> it's okay, Dom. It'll be fine. I'm sure Kirai Proctors see that all the time. I don't think they're going to be too torn up about it. Bounce and attack. Yeah, but who do we bounce? Because I feel like if we bounce the protege, it's possible that they're forced to chump with a bounce of 5 4. Yeah, maybe I'm just getting too cute, honestly. So do I sit in with a protege too? Because they, I think, have to block here so I can get in for two extra damage. Mm, yeah, I probably sh I don't know, it's a lot of mills too. Yeah, you're right, it's probably not. Alright, let's just send with a replicator. Just doesn't do anything. Sure. Yeah, I kind of feel like the mill win is more likely as well. Wow, they're looting? They almost have nothing in hand. I'm gonna hold on to these lands. I would love another ghost light. No! My ghost light! Stupid. That was rude. Oh my gosh, that makes them draw a card. They're down to 12. That's 11. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Can I get a ghost light? <laughs> there goes their ghost light. Sure. Wow, we are flooding. Down to seven. Sanctum them. Play a death bloom phallet, I suppose. I guess I can smack. Kind of have to block. I think the side's good, uh, zap gaze. It's- I think it's better in certain archetypes. It's like, certainly fine here. I think this is like kind of the worst deck we'd want for it. Let me play in an island. The equip is really cheap. I'm surprised it's not two to equip. It's basically Jitte. I don't know about that. Uh, let me not block this. Dude, that rat has been like, doing good work. Wish coin crab. <sighs> ah! Did you see what they just milled? Did you see what they just milled? Friggin' ship it. Boom, baby. What are we gonna kill them? They have three cards and they're at six. We milled some very good cards. Our opponent's deck was actually quite good. <laughs> Wait, was that the victory? <laughs> oh my god, Luis. <laughs> Enthralling hold is really good for me, all this draft. It stole a Spellgorge over here that became a 10-10 and stole that Rada. Reign of Revelation? Don't mind if I do. Oh, 7-1, baby! Ba -ba 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 Let's go open some rares. We've been doing good in Core 22 I feel like we've been ranking up pretty decently. Oh yeah, if only we had another Thalid, though. I know! Our DMZ Aiklings! Ooh, I've not, I haven't seen this card yet. Maze Mind Tome. Put a page counter on Maze Mind Tome. Put a page counter on Maze Mind Tome. Draw a card. When there are four or more page counters on Maze Mind Tome, exile it if you do gain four life. That card does not seem super good. We were, we were going to keep doing our fake victory music. Because it's just part of the stream, okay? Even if we don't have the rights to it. That card is weird. After 7-1 Gabby can force the little shrines as a treat. Yeah, maybe. 
We're only like two pips into platform, so there's you can't derank too far. Alrighty, let me wrap up this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed another M21 draft. I've been liking this format a lot. We're going to keep trying to draft this until Mythic, and then we're going to play some cubes. So there should be some cube coming to the YouTube channel as well. Um, if you would like to support this channel and you're going to shop on Channel Fireball, you can use the code Gabby. It uh, doesn't give you a discount, but it does support this stream. So I would very much appreciate that. Also, CFB sponsors these videos, so thanks to them for sponsoring the video. All right, sounds good. See you, YouTube. Bye. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us in the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.